I've always enjoyed watching gun collection videos and I've been collecting guns for about 10 years myself so I figured you guys might enjoy seeing what I have. First up we've got a Phoenix Arms HP 22A, Walter PPKS in 22 long rifle, Ruger Mark III, Canik TP9, Canik TP9 SA, Yugo Zastava M88A in 9mm, Yugo Zastava M70A in 9mm, Chinese Norinko M54-1 in 9mm, Star Super B, Star BM, Croatian IMP PHP MV, kind of a cross between the German P38 and the Italian Beretta M9, Argentina made copy of the Browning High Power, Egyptian Mahdi Super Harwan, a clone of the Beretta M1951, Grand Power K100, Glock 17, Six Hour P226, Armalite AR24 in 9mm, Magnum Research Baby Eagle in 9mm, Beretta M9, Smith & Wesson 39.2 9mm, Car Arms T9, German P38, AC42 code, post-war German P1, German Luger P08, BYF42 code, American stainless steel copy of the German Luger P08, Finnish design, Swedish manufactured Husqvarna M40 in 9mm, CZ75, CZ P09, Springfield Armory, XDM40, CZ97B and 45 ACP, Ruger Vaquero, Bird's Head in 45 ACP, TSUS M1911A1, Rock Island Armory M1911A2, high capacity, 14 round magazine, Six Hour Scorpion, Got a Magnum Research Desert Eagle 24 karat gold plated in 50 Action Express. Then for the slightly larger weapons, got a Intratech Tech DC9, Israeli Military Industries Micro Uzi Pistol 9mm, Spectre HC in 9mm. Polish PPS 43C in 9mm. Pakistani Ordnance Factories POF 5. High Point 45 caliber carbine. Thompson Center Arms M1927A1 Commando model. Sentry Arms UC9 Uzi. This is not an SBR, this is simply a display barrel. Retta CX4 Storm, 45 ACP. Calico, Liberty 100. The Stava M92 pistol with polymer handguards. The Stava M92 pistol. Draco, Romanian, Draco C, Romanian pistol with KVAR furniture. Sentry Arm C93 pistol in 5.56. <clears throat> Then for shotguns, and these are all 12 gauge, we've got a Mossberg 500, Stoger Double Defense, Chinese Catamount Fury 2, Sega 12, Leopard 12, and last but not least, the Spaz 12. Then for rifles, <coughs> Got a Marlin 795, Mexar Mendoza in 22 long rifle. Underneath that, we have a Polish WZ 48 Mosin Nagan trainer, also in 22 long rifle. We've got a 1929 Mosin Nagan hex receiver. Underneath that, we've got a 1939 Mosin. 1943 Mosin with an ATI synthetic stock. Underneath that, a 1944 M44, uh, same thing, ATI synthetic stock. Then a Mosin M9159. Finnish 
M39. And that is, uh, or I'm sorry, that's actually a Finnish M27, Tika Arsenal. Underneath that we have a Finnish M39. And that one is VKT. The one underneath that is again a Finnish M39. But this one is from Seiko Arsenal. Russian SVT40. Then we've got a 98K. This one was actually Czechoslovakian manufactured. Israeli re-arsenaled to three arsenal converted uh, to fire the 762 by 51 millimeter cartridge. British Lee Enfield pattern rifle. This one is an Indian Ishapur manufactured in 308 or 762 by 51. M1 Garand in 308. Spanish FR8 in 7.62x51 and then we have a French Moss 4956 converted to fire 308 imported by Century Arms then for SKS's we've got two Yugoslavian M5966 SKS's Chinese SKS underneath that Chinese uh, chromed Honor Guard SKS Romanian SKS, Russian 1951 Tula SKS, Albanian SKS, then an Egyptian Rashid in 7.62x39, underneath that a Czechoslovakian 7.62x39 VZ5257. For more modern guns, we've got a Sentry imported Set Me, PTR Industries PTR91 A3R, both in 7.62x51 or 308. Sentry imported C93. Sentry arms C39, milled receiver AK made in the US. My FNFAL clone, which is a Sentry arms R1A1. Yugoslavian NPAP. Romanian GP1975. Another Yugoslavian NPAP. Yugoslavian OPAP. This one has the Sentry. Reaper furniture on it. Yugoslavian M70 AB2T underfolder. Chinese Mac 90. Hungarian SA85M. My fun gun, American made IO Incorporated M247S with the Fostic Outdoors. Bump fire bump ski stock and 75 round drum. Romanian AES-10B RPK Sentry Arms M64 RPK Up here we've got a Russian Malat Super Vepper 308 Yugoslavian M77 in 308 Egyptian Mahdi ARM imported by PARS Romanian Wasser 1063 UF underfolder. My AK-74 pattern rifle, uh, which is a Century M74 Sporter. And last for my AKs, we've got a Russian converted Sega. This one was converted by Atlantic Firearms and has the sunburst orange color stock. Then for ARs, or AR or rifles that take AR pattern magazines. We've got the Armalite M15A2, Colt AR15A4, Bushmaster XM15 E2S, Bushmaster Carbon 15, Adams Arms Piston Driven Carbine, still need to get an optic for that. Then we've got the Bushmaster M17S Bullpup. This is a pre-1994 version with the shorter magwell as well as the flash hider. Then we've got the Israeli Tavor 18 inch barrel. Daewoo DR200. And last but certainly not least got my Armalite AR180. This one was manufactured by Hawa in Japan I believe in the 1970s. Alright so those are all my weapons. Feel free to like and comment. Thank you.